All right. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, apology for the way that we have to actually do the uh, video today. Here is the reason why. Uh, the uh, online app application that I try, I'm going to try to uh, teach you guys today is the way it works. It's working with a uh, stop motion animation. As I told you guys before, you were going to be creating your own animation. Uh, it's going to be a one minute animation that you're actually going to end up doing. And instead of using the one that I wanted to use on uh, on Monday with Animaker, you guys will have you will have a lot more fun with this. Trust me. And it's it's a, it's a lot more easier to do, but it's based off the one that we uh, a study called stop motion animation. So instead of doing 2D, we're going to do stop motion animation. But when I use the actual app, here's what happens: it's got to, it has to cut off my camera. So that's the reason why we can't go live with it right now because it would actually cut off my camera and cut off my sound. You wouldn't be able to hear nothing. You would only be able to see. All right. So here is what you're going to be doing in the actual uh, assignment itself. You're going to type in cloud stop motion. And this is where you will make your actual uh, stop motion animation. So let me show you what it's at, uh, some are actually going to look like. All right, so you can see my entire full screen. Here is one that I did the other day, and I, I did this with uh, with a clay model. And basically, I put down some play some, some of my son's Play-Doh down on the table. The way that stop motion animation happens, the, the key word is stop motion, stop. So what you do is you set down whatever your object is that you're going to record. You hit record. It takes one frame of it. Then you move it. And then you hit another frame and then you move it and you hit another frame. It's just like taking a picture over and over again on your phone. If you have ever looked into your phone and been like, like, man, that looks like that. Could that basically it's like the motion of all the frames going together. That's the way that these animations are actually made. So when I hit uh, take on the next pick, as you can see, I move it a little bit. That was just the camera coming in focus where the cam uh, where the lens goes in and out. So make sure you let your lens actually stop and basically come under control when you're actually doing it. So when you play it in fast motion, boom, you have the animation that makes it look like it's actually flowing. Now this is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten pictures. And as you can see how short it is, it's only two seconds long. So that was just to give you an example of the way that it's actually being done. So as you see right here, Play-Doh goes around on the table, boom, 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 and it comes up and it says hi. Hi to you. I was going to put a face on it and everything. I just didn't have time to. There were some uh, other ones that I did. I did with my uh, sons uh, right here with his dinosaur as well, too. So on this one right here, when I hit play, as you can see, it's the same, same motion where I just moved it just a little bit. The quicker you move it is the more faster the action is going to actually like go back and forth. If you need whatever you're recording on for animation to make it go real fast, that's where you would end up like move, moving it to another place real quick. Otherwise, you just basically just barely nudge it, snap your picture, nudge it, snap your picture, and boom, you get this right here that is actually like moving around on the table. But here is the key when doing this. You need to make sure, you need to make sure that there's nothing else that's moving in the background. So look at this shot right here. Compared to this shot right here, what do you see? Somebody came in with a drink and set it down on the table. I said, hey, I'm recording. Don't set that down on the table. But they set it down anyway. So that's where it magically pops up at right there in the shot and nobody moved it out of shot but that's this is the same way that it's working with stop motion animation so it's just simple movement that is happening the whole entire time of the actual film all right so i'm going to take you inside of the actual animation itself so this first one is for all of you guys that do not have iphones i will go ahead and do that first iphone users you can use this if you want to or you can use the app that is built into your app store with and it's just called stop motion it's it works the exact same way the one that i'm going to show you where you take a pic real quick okay so i'm going to go to cloud stop animation right here i'm going to go ahead and click on to open that 
I have already started my account. Uh, you don't have to. It's better to start an account so you can make your videos longer. But as you see right here, you can jump in and start animating right away to go ahead and create your. Uh, let me put my picture back over there. Yeah, where you can go ahead and jump in to create your actual animation. So it is called again stop motion cloud animation. So I will go to my login. Boom, boom, boom. So when you end up logging in, basically it's just whatever password you end up having in. So you see it already has me in. For my password, I hit sign in. Oops. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because I had to redo it. That's right. So when you go when you go to start up your account uh, to keep it free and everything, it's going to ask you if you want to go up to Pro. You don't want to go to Pro. You want to stay with the, uh, the actual free one. So I'll basically just take you through just... A demonstration to actually show it. I put mine up under a different account than my uh, teacher account. I totally forgot about that. All right, so when you get inside of this, you can click on start animating. All you have to do is click on it. So it's going to go through this right here. Here are a couple things that I've already uh, played around with uh, yesterday. With my, I'll show you what it actually ends up looking like. Let me go ahead and click on it. So I did this quick animation with my phone. Uh, now, here's what's going to happen. It says allow your camera to be used. This is the reason why we couldn't do it live today. So I'm going to allow my camera to actually end up being used. Boom. Oh, look at that. It didn't cut off my actual camera. Good. But it would have cut off my camera if I was doing this live. So here are all the pics that I ended up taking. So what I did is I set my phone in one place and all I did was hit capture frame. And then I move that phone a couple of different places each time. When you play it back at fast motion, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Boom. You can see right there how how short it actually is. But it does actually end up animating. It ends up animating the whole entire thing. So I start at one and I just hit record. What you want to do though, move out of the way of the shot. I'm going to show you another smooth one that I ended up doing, doing as well too. And I'm going to do it in front of you as well. So I hit play. As you can see, it moves around. And that's a total of, yeah, that's a total of 11 frames right there. So that's how quick everything is actually moving when you're actually on the stop animation. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through the actual setup process. Right here, when you go to CloudStop to sign up, you're going to need to sign up just so your video can end up being longer. You have to do a one, uh, a one minute, uh, one minute stop motion animation. All right. So right here, it says, please enter your email and hit send verification code. So what do you do? You click on sign up and then you just type in your email, hit send verification. And boom. Do not put in the password yet that you want to go ahead and put in. Send the verification first. After it goes through the process, it's going to go ahead and say, please enter your uh, email and everything. Boom. As you can see right there, I have my verification code. So I'll go over to my email and there's my stop motion right there at the very top. This code right here, whatever code it ends up sending you, that is the one that you want to go ahead and copy and paste in there. So I copy and paste it. Boom. Basically, I'm good. I'm good to go. Verify code. Boom. Code is, is verified right now. My actual e uh, new password that I'm going to put in for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Boom. And I put my password in to confirm it. And then my display name is just going to be Basemore Teacher. And then that's it. That's literally it. You just go ahead, you hit create. It's going to say, hey, we're going to process it. And yes, I'm going to save my password for next time. So boom, everything is actually going to go ahead and set up in your actual stop motion. So now you can go ahead and click on new project and everything. So I'm going to do uh, one right here in front of you. Um, we're going to use some uh, action figures as well, too. So I got some of my son's toys right here. We'll put this down right here to the side and we're going to go ahead and do the animation. So where do we click to get started? All you got to do is click on new project. That's it. That is it. Click on new project 
and you're going to click on allow. So the great thing is it's not cutting off my camera as you can see right now, but it was if we were live. So here is how it works. I'm recording this right now off of my laptop. You can record it off of your phones and point it straight at uh straight at the object, but since my camera is on the front front screen of the computer, this is how it's got it's got to end up recording. Boom. I'm going to turn this around all the way so you guys can see what I'm actually doing right here. So inside of this, we have our action figure that is going to end up uh, being the one to actually end up getting recorded. Let me go ahead and get where it'll stay still. Now, when you actually do this, you want to do your best not to get you in the shot or you want to keep yourself hidden. So as you can see right there, I'm actually hidden. Forget, forget all that stuff over there and everything. I'm in, in the guest bedroom. <laughs> so here we go. All I'm going to do is go up and click on capture frame for the first one. Boom. I have one. Now watch when I move it just a little bit. You see this right here? I've already faded out. That's because I was not originally in the shot. I was like this. So if I take a picture right here, it's showing where I'm actually going to end up being. Same thing with this right here. Watch when I move it just a little bit. You're going to see a shadow left over from the car originally. And let's see. Get the car to stay still. You see right there, there's a shadow left over. So I'm going to get out of the shot again. So only, only this is seen right here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hit recapture frame again. Boom. And guess what? I've got one frame where it actually ends up moving. So I go back in again. Don't get it freaked out that you see the ghost figure. And it works the same way with the stop motion on the iPhones as well, too. They look exactly the same. All you're doing is just hit and record. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and move it. Move it one more time. This one's got some weak wheels on it. It's trying to go ahead and move by itself. So right now I'm going to go ahead and set that right there. And I'm going to go back. Ah! It moved too far, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So I'm going to go ahead and move it again. Boom. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit record again. So each time, each one of those frames are moving right there the whole entire time. So it's as if the car is doing what? That the car is actually in motion. Boom. So it's skidding around my, my table. Boom. We're going to do it like this. Now, remember, the quicker that the more I move it away, the faster it's going to actually look. So you want to keep it as like a little bit as realistic as you can when you move each time. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit right here. So boom, I'm going ahead moving it around, moving it around again. And all I'm doing is just hitting capture frame. I'm hitting that red button right there. Capture a frame each time, each time. Boom. Ah. Uh, Trying to get my little car to stay still. Look at this. Son's got some weak wheels on this. So it's going all the way around. We're going to make it go a little bit faster. Boom. It goes a little bit faster all the way around. Then it moves over here as if it just skidded across. Boom. So, so far I've taken a total of 11 picks, which is absolutely fine as well too. So it's going to go all the way back over here to where it originally started at. Again, make sure your hand is out of the shot or it's going to pop up in the actual frame. And you're going to get a ghost and image that pops up just for a second. Boom. So I've got a total of like 14 picks right here. Take right there. And we're almost done with this. Boom. And right there again. Boom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move that back around to where I can end up seeing you guys. Now, see right here, you can see I'm good on camera, but right here, if this would show the next image if I actually took it. We're not going to take that actual next image. We're just going to go ahead and click back on our pictures, go all the way back to our timeline. Let me get back into it again. Go all the way back to the beginning of our timeline, and we're going to hit play. And there it is. Boom. We have a card that goes all the way around in a circle. All the way around in a circle. So here's what I'm going to end up doing inside of this for the actual assignment. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick change real quick. You're not going to do one minute. I want you to do 30 seconds because it will take a whole lot of picks to go ahead and get that. The one minute film looks like actually a whole lot better, but instead we're going to go ahead and, and knock it down to actually 30 seconds. Now, how do you send this to me? You go right up here. 
And that thing that looks like a TV that's on a stand, look like it's sitting on a stand right there, that is called export your file to an MP4 file. And that's what you want to end up doing. You want to export it to an MP4 file. So I'm going to click on this. Export. And I'm going to give it the name. So this would be a 30 second animation is what we're going to end up calling it. 30 second animation. Leave it at 16 by 9. Don't take it off 16 by 9. And then right there where it says large, leave that same thing as well too. And all you have to do is hit export, guys. That's all you got to do. It'll say it's rendering right now. And then it will say that it is encoding. Encoding right now. Boom. Now, it says it's going to save your film to your movies area. So all your movies can be saved inside of a file right there. Uh, right there on, online. You want to download yours. Download yours. You're going to hit download. And then after I hit download, boom, there we go, download. My video started downloading right here. I actually hit it twice by accident. Didn't mean to do that. So after you hit download, you basically have the video that you can now upload to me. So we'll go ahead and we'll check and just make sure this video looks okay. Please check and make sure your videos look right before you send them, please. So here's my 30-second animation right here. And boom. Make sure this is what we just ended up recording. I made sure, look, that I was out of the shot the entire time. Boom. There we go. I started to come into the shot a little bit at the end, but that's fine right there. So there's, that's how the actual animations are made on stop animation. And so many movies are done like that. I mean, they have like all out, like where they're doing a whole lot of movement and everything and actually have frowns and, and faces and everything. But that is how that is actually done. So let me go ahead and get out of that. But remember, you have to go ahead and start an account. Don't just click on just, you can st click on start animating to practice, but you have to get a uh, start an account so your video will end up being longer. It will only let you do like about like, like at the most, I think it's like about like five seconds. Then you need to start the actual account on it. You need to start the actual account. So let me go ahead and get out of that real quick. Now, for those iPhone users, this is the last thing I'm going to show you. For you iPhone users, boom, we will head right over to YouTube. Yours, it, it looks very similar. I'm just showing you right off of YouTube so I don't have to show you on my phone. Stop motion animation app. App uh, iPhone. Boom. Yes, it looks exactly, exactly the same. The same exact thing. So here is one person that's doing doing it with theirs. If you want to look at the video just to see how different it looks, here's one right here. Just, just type in stop motion app animation. It's a free app for you guys to go ahead and download. But if you don't want to use that one, you can use the online one that I just showed you as well too. And all you're doing is just you move it just a little bit. Let me click on the video and I'll keep the sound down on that. So here's one that this guy ended up making right here. Boom. Or, yep, yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that she ended up making right there. Boom. All you're doing the whole entire time, the whole entire, I'm trying to get to where they actually end up doing it. There it is. Boom. Only thing you're doing is you're moving it just a little bit. You can zoom in and out on the camera and everything because you guys have basically iPhones. You can, do, you can do a whole lot. But all you're doing is just moving them back and forth just a little bit. The same thing that you ended up doing out of this one as well, too. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. You guys, all right, so this assignment will be due for you guys Monday. It's a 30 second, I'm about to go ahead and upload it right now and you will be good to go. How will you be able to tell how long it is? You can switch back and forth to check the timing of it as well too, but even after you export, it's gonna show you how long it is. I mean, you see right here, it ended up going 16 picks but it was only it was not that long at all it was not that long at all it's just it's a whole lot of uh it's a whole lot that goes into creating the actual uh stop motion animation so you've got you've got 30 seconds that you will end up getting on it cool all right i will see you guys again i apologize but i will see you guys uh next week and we'll be on something different we won't be using this app so we'll be able to have class the regular way all right i'll catch you later bye